The KC-135E Stratotanker is a vital component of the United States Air Force's aerial refueling fleet. As an adaptation of the Boeing 707, the KC-135E has provided essential and flight refueling capabilities for various military aircraft, significantly enhancing the operational range and endurance of the U.S. Air Force. This small comprehensive report delves into the history, design, purpose, and performance of the KC-135E Stratotanker, highlighting its critical role in modern military aviation. The KC-135 Stratotanker program began in the early 1950s, with the first flight taking place on August 31, 1956. The aircraft was officially introduced into service in 1957. The KC-135E variant, which is a re-engined version of the original KC-135A, came into existence in the 1980s. The production of the original KC-135 series continued until 1965, with a total of 732 aircraft built. The KC-135E variants were converted from existing KC-135A models rather than newly built aircraft, extending their service life into the 21st century. The KC-135 Stratotanker was designed and built by Boeing, one of the world's leading aerospace companies. The design was based on Boeing's commercial 367-80 prototype, which also served as the basis for the Boeing 707 airliner. The KC-135 was developed specifically to meet the U.S. Air Force's need for a jet-powered aerial refueling tanker, replacing the older piston-engine KC-97 Stratofreighter the sole purpose that it was originally designed for. The primary purpose of the KC-135E Stratotanker was aerial refueling. It was designed to extend the range and endurance of U.S. military aircraft by allowing them to refuel in midair. This capability is crucial for long-range strategic missions, enabling bombers, fighters, and other aircraft to operate far from their home bases without needing to land for refueling. It was based primarily in the United States. The KC-135E Stratotanker was based primarily in the United States. Major operating bases included Fairchild Air Force Base in Washington, McConnell Air Force Base in Kansas, and Grissom Air Reserve Base in Indiana, among others. The aircraft was also deployed to various locations worldwide to support U.S. military operations and allied forces. Global Production and Deployment the KC-135 Stratotanker series was produced exclusively in the United States by Boeing. However, the aircraft has been deployed globally to support U.S. military operations and those of allied nations. Over its operational history, the KC-135 has been stationed at numerous bases worldwide, including those in Europe, Asia, and the Middle East, playing a critical role in various conflicts and military operations. Technical Specifications and Performance The KC-135E Stratotanker is known for its robust performance and reliable aerial refueling capabilities. Here are some key technical specifications and performance details. Engine The KC-135E is powered by four Pratt and Whitney TF-33 PW102 turbofan engines. Horsepower each TF-33 engine produces approximately 16,050 pounds of thrust. Speed. The aircraft has a maximum speed of 580 miles per hour, 933 kilometers per hour. Range. The KC-135E has an operational range of around 1,500 miles, 2,400 kilometers, with a full fuel load, extendable with in-flight refueling. Service ceiling. The maximum altitude the aircraft can reach is approximately 50,000 feet, 15,240 meters. Fuel capacity. The KC-135E can carry up to 200,000 pounds, 90,718 kilograms, of fuel for refueling operations. Dimensions. The aircraft has a wingspan of 130 feet 10 inches, 39.88 meters, a length of 136 feet 3 inches, 41.53 meters, and a height of 41 feet 8 inches, 12.7 meters. Innovative Features and Design Elements The KC-135 e Stratotanker incorporated several innovative features and design elements that contributed to its success as an aerial refueling platform. 
Boom Refueling System The KC-135E is equipped with a flying boom, a telescoping tube that allows for high-speed fuel transfer to receiver aircraft. This system enables faster and more efficient refueling compared to older probendrobe methods. Wingtip Pods Some KC-135s are fitted with wingtip pods, allowing for multipoint refueling and increasing the number of aircraft that can be refueled simultaneously. Structural Enhancements The KC-135E included structural enhancements and modifications to improve its durability and extend its service life. Re-engineering Program the E-model was part of a re-engineering program that replaced the original J57 engines with more efficient TF33 engines, improving fuel efficiency and performance. Operational History and Legacy The KC-135E Stratotanker has a distinguished operational history, marked by its extensive use in various conflicts and support missions. Vietnam War The KC-135 played a critical role in refueling combat aircraft during the Vietnam War allowing for extended bombing missions and air patrols. Cold War Throughout the Cold War, the KC-135 provided vital refueling support for strategic bombers and reconnaissance aircraft, ensuring a credible deterrent against potential adversaries. Desert Storm During Operation Desert Storm, the KC-135E enabled sustained air operations by refueling coalition aircraft, demonstrating its importance in modern air warfare. Humanitarian missions. In addition to combat operations, the KC-135 has supported numerous humanitarian missions, providing airlift and refueling support for disaster relief efforts. Post-retirement influence. Even after some KC-135E models were retired, the Stratotanker continues to influence modern aerial refueling operations. The KC-135R, an upgraded version with newer engines, remains in service and the lessons learned from the KC-135 program have informed the development of the KC-46 Pegasus, the next-generation aerial refueling tanker. Conclusion The KC-135 E Stratotanker stands as a testament to the ingenuity and versatility of aerial refueling design. Its contributions to military operations and humanitarian efforts have left an indelible mark on aviation history. The KC-135E's legacy continues to inspire and inform the development of modern aerial refueling aircraft, ensuring that its impact will be felt for generations to come.